Okay, Justin, thanks. An historic home in the heart of downtown Lexington is up for bids. Tyler Melito is in studio with a look inside and walks us through the property's unique claim to fame. Like all homes, this property, located just a block away from Rupp Arena, has a unique story to tell, dating all the way back to the mid-1840s. I caught up with the realtor selling the home to learn more about what makes this space so unique. Welcome to 467 West 2nd Street. If Walls could talk, this home would have a lot to say and some big names to drop. Abraham Lincoln walked the halls of this house, which is really neat. At one point, it served as a bed and breakfast. It's the first bed and breakfast of Lexington in 1995. But that's not his only claim to fame. It's the first flushable toilet of Lexington. <laughs> The plumbing is still intact. But the home's history runs much deeper than that. If you can imagine waking up in this bed and what you're actually seeing is an over 200 year old oak. And this oak was actually what symbolized the location of the Underground Railroad. In the Civil War era, Kentucky was a state caught in the middle, bordering both free states to the north and slave owning states to the south. This, I guess, had boards, so it just looked like part of the wall and then they would take the boards off to get people in and out. There's plenty of historic homes, but have they kept those things intact? Did they have these heart-wrenching stories behind them? The realtors know the market is small for the home, listed at more than $1.4 million, but they're hoping to find the perfect owner, one who appreciates the property's past. It's hard to describe, but every time I walk into this house, it feels like magic. You've stepped kind of back in time, um, and everything has just been so well curated in this space. Everything's been touched and very well thought of. The current owner is very methodical in everything she does as far as her design goes, and she's done a phenomenal job here. The house went on the market about a month ago. It sits within the city's Northside District, which is documented by the National Register of Historic Places. For Fox 56 News, I'm Tyler Melito.